Good morning. This is All India Radio Gohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Chief Minister of Nagaland Nipirio has appointed chairman for various public sector undertakings, PSUs and corporations under the state government. According to a notification issued by the Cabinet Secretary J. Alam, Dr. Wati Zulu Jamir has been appointed as chairman of Development Authority Nagaland, Dr. Nipirio Kedichu as chairman of Nagaland Kati and Village Industries Board, Tongwang Konyak as Chairman of Nagaland Hotels Limited, Kuputo Shohe as Chairman of Nagaland State Mineral Development Corporation, Dr. M. Chupa Ao as Chairman of Nagaland State Cooperative Marketing and Consumers Federation Limited, Macrofed, Obed Quinker as Chairman of Honey Mission, Wan Pong Konyak as Chairman of Bioresource Mission, Supung Merin Hockey as Chairman of Nagaland Empowerment of People Through Energy Development, NIPET, Apu Mehta as Chairman of Investment and Development Authority of Nagaland and Teja Meru as Chairman of Task Force for Music and Arts Tafma. The notification further informed that the pay and allowances of the Chairman of the various PSUs and missions will be as per the Finance Department Office Memorandum. Governor of Nagaland La Kanesan has appointed Apu Mehta, Dr. Chimben Muri and Niprezo Gedichu as advisors to the Chief Minister of Nagaland. The status of the advisors will be the same as that of a cabinet minister. In a special series, All India Radio brings you excerpts from the Prime Minister's Monkey Bath. People, voice and direct dialogue. That's your and our Monkey Bath. Yes, this is how our Prime Minister connects with millions of countrymen. With the program Monkey Bath, aired on the last Sunday of every month on All India Radio. This series, which started on October 3, 2014, will complete its 100th episode in April 2023. In this 24th episode, let's listen to those excerpts of Man Ki Baat, through which the Prime Minister gave an assurance to the nation that those behind the terrorist attack in the Uri sector will not be spared at any cost. The one distinct feature of the Monkey Bath program has been that the Prime Minister has never touched upon any political issue. But he does not hold back when it comes to issuing a stern warning to those anti Indian forces who attack our country. One such warning he gave on 25th September 2016. Then the Prime Minister assured the nation that every drop of blood of the 18 soldiers who were martyred would be accounted for jammu kashmir ke uri sector mein ek aatanki hamle mein hamare desh ke 18 veer sapooton ko humne kho diya main sabhi bahadur sainikon ko naman karta hu aur unhe shraddhanjali deta hu is kairana ghatna pure desh ko jagjorne ke liye kafi thi desh mein shok bhi hai aakrosh bhi hai aur ye kshati sirf un parivaron ki nahi hai जिन्होंने अपना बेटा खोया भाई खोया पति खोया ये क्षति पूरे राष्ट्र की है और इसलिए मैं देशवासियों को आज इतना ही कहूंगा और जो मैंने उसी दिन कहा था मैं आज उसको फिर से दोहराना चाहता हूं कि दोषी सजा पा करके ही रहेंगे The special Man Ki Baat series can be heard every day in the morning and evening bulletins. In view of the G20 summit which is scheduled to be held from 4th to 6th April, Deputy Commissioner of Jumukidima, Apinav Shivam, has prohibited dumping of garbage and waste on the roadside along the stretch of National Highway 29 from Dimapu Airport to Pipema. The order stated that failure to adhere to the directive will invite penalties under relevant provisions of the law. The DC has asked the administration of Mitzfema and City Kima to ensure strict compliance of the order and to further clean the stretch in coordination with the ward and village authorities. Vito Sumi has made history by becoming the first filmmaker to win the Best Director in Documentary Film category at the 2023 Northeast Film Festival in Mumbai. The event was organized by the National Film Development Corporation India. The award was given to Simi for his film Sound from Holo Bamboo, which was released earlier this year. The film, which is a tribute to the traditional music of Northeast India, has been lauded by critics and audiences alike. 
With this award, Vito has cemented his position in the world of documentary filmmaking and has become a source of inspiration for film enthusiasts from all over the world. Twin brothers from Nagalin, Xiu Sutong and Xiu Tong, secured one gold and one silver in the national championship for sub-junior of PV category at the tender age of eight years. Xiu Sutong secured gold medal for Nagalin in the 36th National Daguando Sub-Junior Championship 2023 under 23 kilogram category at JN Indo Stadium at Katak, Odisha. His twin brother, Xiu Tong, could only manage as silver, losing in the final of the under 25 kilogram. The twins hail from Anadongar village under Gifre district and are currently training at Sports Academy in Narakanti Stadium in Kohima. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day. Thank you.